Cheers everybody, Graham here with another uh, beer review. This was a leftover beer from the uh, brew day for the sour. Um, if you want to check out that video, I will include a link since I am referencing it. Uh, basically what we did was we got together and we brewed a Flanders Red and then we did a one gallon experimental batch with dregs from a variety of sours and um, some expired uh, Flemish ale stuff. So um, that's actually fermenting right now. I'm really interested in seeing what happens. Anyways, back to the review. What we have today, one of the leftover brews that was on its way up in my fridge, was uh, this it's by Victory, the Golden Monkey. It is a Trapel. Ale brewed with spices, golden monkey, a magical, mystical monkey whose golden soul glows with the wisdom of ages. This warming, flavored ale is rich in the spirited tradition of Belgian-inspired brewing. Our golden monkey is both playfully delightful and profoundly satisfying. Exotic spices from the east round out this global journey to joy. Get on board. This monkey's bound for glory. The Brewmasters of Victory. 9.5% alcohol by volume. This bottle uh, is conditioned, so there is a little bit of sediment on the bottom. And yes, I do see it in there. So, <clears throat> it's bottle condition, 9.5% alcohol by volume. I do not have an ABV on this. Let's see. This was bottled by Victory in uh, Downington, Pennsylvania. All right. So I've never had this beer before. I have not looked up any information online about it. I, I have no idea what to expect. But uh, I don't remember who it was. But it might have been uh, Mark on the Homebrew Network. I, I, I want to say it was Mark. Um, if, uh, if it's not... I'm sorry, but somebody said that wanted to get my reaction on this beer. So, uh, it smells very fruity. You get a lot of esters. Classic Belgian style. I'm not a big Belgian fan. I, I don't know what it is. It just, I'm not really big on them. Never, I, I don't know. I, we'll see what this does to me. I. I think I'm just not a big fan of the S3 beers, but hey, it smells decent, so let's see. I think uh, what gets me is uh, I'm just not a big fan of adding giant amounts of sugar into uh, secondary or primary for that matter. Apparently the Belgians are. Okay, so... There's our pour. I'm leaving a little bit in the bottle for the sediment because I'm not a big sediment drinker. We've got, uh, ooh. It is a bright golden color. Very, almost, almost, uh, yeah, it's bright golden. Very clear. Very clear. I don't really see much haziness in it. You can tell that there's, should be able to see the carbonation there. It's very well carbonated. Lots of bubbles. It is loaded with bubbles. The head is a nice off white. It looks kind of uh, yellow. It's got a yellow hue to it, but it, it's mostly white. It's like an eggshell white. It blends in nicely with the nice gold color, so that's cool. The aroma... Same as the bottle. It's just not as, you know, the, the bottle just... The bottleneck. It just, it just traps that aroma, just blasts you. When it opens up, it... Whew said it before, I love to stick my nose in beer because I love to get the aroma. 
all I'm getting off this is malt and estery aroma. It just smells like somebody stuck some fruit in my beer. Bananas. Yeah. In a variety of fruit smells there. Okay, so let's go for the uh, taste. Mm. So right off the bat on my palate, I get a hint of bitterness. There's some bitterness there. It sticks around. But you also can taste the alcohol. You know, I can taste the alcohol, and um, but it fades. Um, you can taste a little bit of the malt, very briefly to me. I don't know. It, um, what really is overpowering in this beer is about three fourths of the way through, maybe halfway through. Right as soon as the malt begins to fade, because it's like the malt boom, and then it fades for me to. Esters. I get a little bit of uh, just fruit. Yeah, I mean, it's different. Um, It is rather well-rounded, nice. Um, one is not overpowering to the other. Um, it starts out bitter and with uh, a punch in the face, to me at least. It just feels like somebody just went pow, alcohol, and then all of a sudden malt. And then it finishes off with a nice fruity hint to it. It, it just reminds me of just grabbing a bunch of fruit off a fruit dish and just shoving it all in my mouth. Uh, I'll definitely get a little bit of banana in there. I can't put my finger on what other fruits there are in there. But um, yeah I would I would I would rate this beer pretty well. The head is still there. That's Probably because it's really well carbonated, it's not going to go any down. It's not going to go down anytime soon. So, um, like I said, um, I'm not a big Belgian beer fan. My friend Alex, who uh, Alexander uh, can do in the uh, Homebrew Network as well, um, he's not a big Belgian ale fan. However, we both agree that the exception is with sours. We both love the Belgian sours. This beer in particular. Would you catch me drinking this all the time? No, because I'm not a big fan of estery beer like this. Um, would I? Would you find me drinking it if I was at a party and somebody brought it? Yeah, sure. It's a good beer. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink it with the rest of them. Would I recommend this? I would recommend this if you definitely wanted to get into the uh, whole Trapel thing. I've never had a Trapel. This is my first Trapel style. It's pretty good. Uh, it's very, like I said, well-rounded in my opinion. Not, not too strong in all the areas. It's got a very nice finish to it. It does finish dry with the esters hanging around. Yeah, it just, it just feels like it just goes just <laughs> <laughs> it's in your mouth and then it just dries you out but it leaves you with that fruity hint in the end anyways this beer this head is just sticking around forever so the pour the head I rate those both about four and a half um, flavor style of beer I want to give this beer 
because I haven't had many tripels. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Err on the side of caution in case somebody says, I've had that and I didn't like it. Well, my opinion is it's pretty damn good and I've never had a tripel before. This is my first one, so I'm going to rate it a four and a half. Overall beer, four and a half uh, across the boards. The flavor, like I said, it's not too overpowering on everything. It blends well together from start to finish. Um, the head sticks around. It's, it's still there. It's like three-fourths of the finger. It started out as two fingers, so maybe even two and a half. So next time you're in the store, pick up, pick up a Golden Monkey by Victory. They're a pretty good brewery. And if they don't have Golden Monkey, pick up something else by them because I've had many beers by them and they've all turned out pretty good. So, I want to say thank you. I believe it was John. He's not in this group. Um, he came to Brew Day. I just met him and he left me a bunch of beers. So I thank him. If he ever sees this video, I hope he appreciates it. So, uh, and I thank you guys for checking out my channel, checking out my videos. There's going to be tons of more reviews coming, tons of more videos in general coming. And I appreciate everybody's feedback, especially you guys in the Homebrew Network, because you guys are an awesome bunch. And um, it's just great how we all just learn off of each other. As questions, we answer each other's questions. We got everybody from beginners to advanced brewers, you name it. So while I'm talking about it, you might as well go there. Go to the Homebrew Network on Facebook. All right, guys. Cheers.